let's see if I go again. Is live streaming now? It says that it's live streaming. Okay, but. But but I'm looking on my laptop because I can't look on my computer and it's not right. ready yet. Yes. It's telling oh. us to wait. <clears throat> yes. For some reason, it's not connected. No. Good morning, Esteban. Welcome back. So when it goes live on my computer, I'll let you know. Yes. Okay. Because I can't see here. Because they didn't finish. I check and it's like, okay, I think now. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Buenos días a todos. Les invitamos a participar en EDUCAP TV Inglés, dirigido a estudiantes de primer año de educación media general. Este es un espacio único, lúdico y pertinente para reforzar sus clases en el área de inglés. Soy Yolanda López, profesora de la Escuela de Educación de la Universidad Católica Andrés Bello y coordino el programa de EDUCAP TV Inglés de la mano de la profesora Indira Pachi representante del programa Virtual English Language Fellow de la Embajada de Estados Unidos en Venezuela. En la clase de hoy, contamos con el profesor David Morales, estudiante de quinto semestre de educación, mención ciencias pedagógicas, que estará acompañado por el profesor Jofiel Santaella en el chat de Zoom y de YouTube. También estudiante de educación de séptimo semestre de la mención de física y matemáticas. Bienvenidos todos. Contamos con su participación. Hello guys, good morning. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, ¿Cómo están, muchachos? Hello, Esteban and Leticia and Luisana. By the way, I love your picture, Leticia. It's so funny. So yours, Luisana. Um, okay, guys. So today we are going to be uh, practicing uh, and improving our writing. Vamos a estar mejorando nuestra escritura eh, a través de los signos de puntuación. Esto es bastante, mm, digamos, a veces la gente lo toma por fastidioso, ¿sí? To some, this might be a little bit uh, boring, but it's actually pretty important when it comes to writing. Es bastante importante cuando uno va a escribir, ¿sí? So let's continue with the next slide. Thank you. This time Indira is helping me with the slides. <laughs> Thank you, Indira. No okay. problem. I'm also trying to take notes, so I'll be back and forth. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, what are we going to learn today? We're going to learn what the punctuation marks are. Vamos a aprender lo que son los signos de puntuación, bien? Y bueno, sus particularidades en inglés. We're going to learn how to use punctuation marks in formal writing. Vamos a aprender cómo utilizar signos de puntuación en escritura formal. And we're going to um, identify what comma splices are. How to identify comma splices, okay? Vamos a identificar lo que son comma splices, que es un caso bien especial, 
¿ok? Pero ya vamos para allá. Uh, les recuerdo siempre, chicos, que tengan eh, sus micrófonos a la mano, encendidos, uh, así como también sus notebooks. Sus, ay, olvidé la palabra. En notebook. Sus cuadernos. cuadernos. Sí, lo siento. <ríe> eh, que tengan sus cuadernos a la mano junto con sus lápices, ¿ok? Para que anoten todo. Right? Mm, and well, let's begin. Now, let's remember, think in Spanish for a while. Vamos a pensar en español, chicos. A ver, díganme cuáles son los nombres de esto. Esto no lo sabemos todos. Todos conocemos los nombres de cada uno de estos signos de puntuación. Veamos. Luisana, Leticia, Esteban, díganlo por el chat. ¿Cuál es, por ejemplo, el nombre de este en español? Punto y coma. Muy bien, punto y coma. Very good. Leticia, ¿y cuál es el nombre, por ejemplo, de este? Signo de interrogación. Very good. También hay personas que le dicen incógnita, pero más conocido como signo de interrogación. Very good. ¿Y qué tal este, Esteban? Comillas. Very good. So, you see. Ahora, si nos vamos, por ejemplo, en inglés, vamos a recordar cómo se dice cada una de estas. Ya va. Déjenme poner más. Otro color el marcador. Vamos a ver este. All right. So, let's begin with this. Veamos, chicos. Si se lo saben en inglés, pronuncien. ¿Cómo se dice este? This is very easy. Se pronuncia coma. Así como coma. Pero la pronunciación es un poquito más larga. Coma. All right? Coma. Este. ¿Tienen alguna idea de cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice el punto en inglés? Period. Very good. Or, Period. También or se puede decir. Point. No. No, no, no. Oh. Point. Oh. Uh, not point. <laughs> not point, but a good try. You can say period or you can say full stop. Okay? You can say period or full stop. If you say full stop, it's the same as if you were saying period. Okay? It's lo mismo. Period or full stop. Okay, very good. Now, Leticia, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se dice, por ejemplo, este? Come on, wait. Este. It's an mark. Estos últimos dos tienen casi el mismo nombre. Terminan ambos con la palabra mark. Bien. But the difference is which mark. So we have two marks. Tenemos dos marks. Tenemos question mark. Yes, very mark. good. Exclamation mark. Very good, Leticia. Yes. So we have question mark and exclamation mark. Al final, ambas terminan en mark, pero lo que la hace diferente es la primera palabra. Question de pregunta y exclamation de exclamación. Exclamation mark. Very good. Well done, Leticia. Now, these are, Indira, what's the name of these? 
The two dots, you mean? Yes. Oh, that's a colon. 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 And if this is a colon, thank you, Indira. And if this is a colon, see, así como el, like colon, but not Spanish colon, okay? Or colon, no. <laughs> it's just colon, how you call it. So this, if this is colon, like full colon, <laughs> this is semicolon. Okay. Guys, do you have an idea what we use semicolon for? Esteban, for example, do you know why do we use semicolon? What for? Or Leticia or Luisana. Okay. Um, we actually I know they use it. Uh, okay. I just don't know exactly the point of that if we have the other one. This is some colon. I don't okay. get it either. Okay. You you've never know when to use semicolon, right? No. Okay, okay. Right. yeah, that's that's something very common. Not many people use it, and nowadays, uh, not too much people, not too many people is using it. Sorry, too many. Um, so basically, semicolon is to when you're using too many commas, right? Yes. Uh -huh. You get to a point where you say, okay, I've used enough commas, so, but I still want to separate but I don't want to completely separate the idea using a period. So what do I do? Well, you use a semicolon. Yes. You that have is. all of the ideas and you don't use the period to separate them, right? So you, yes. you've you used enough commas, has usado ya bastantes commas, pero no quieres seguir usando commas porque ya caerías en un error o ya se vería mal o ya la lectura sería un poco más difícil, entonces se utiliza el punto y coma, el semicolon, so you can continue with the same argument into the same idea antes del punto. That's basically the use of uh -huh. it. Es básicamente That is. Yay. Okay, wait, let me delete all this. Good. And we have this little um, hyphen or dash. It's a hyphen, right? Yes, hyphen. Okay, this is hyphen. Its name is hyphen. We use it to uh, join words. For example, semicolon. Semicolon. Mother-in-law. Oh, for example, mother-in-law, yes. mother-in-law very good so we use hyphens in this case okay and and what are these these are quotations like quotes you know the, the word quotes what is a quote, guys? What is a quote? Esteban, what is a quote? Um, Let's wait for Esteban. What is a quote? No, not quotations, but quote. No, no las, no las comillas propiamente, sino la palabra quote. Tienes alguna idea? Mm. Do you have an idea? Quote. A ver, vamos a ponerlo en español. Una cita. Uh. Do you have an idea what a cita is? In Spanish, in Espanol. 
Guion. No. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Esteban. No, let's see if Leticia can tell something about it. Leticia, do you know what a quote is? O una cita en español. Cuando uno dice voy a citar a este autor, voy a citar esta obra de este libro. ¿Qué es una cita? O entendido en inglés como quote. No. Ok, una cita. A quote. Vamos a ver si Luisana sabe. Um, bueno, una cita en general, por lo que conozco, es cuando uno va a resaltar alguna frase que haya sido de una persona que no somos nosotros. Correcto. Very good, Luisana. Yay. Yes. Una cita es sencillamente eh, tomar una frase, un texto ajeno, algo que no dijimos nosotros, algo que no escribimos nosotros y colocarlo dentro de nuestro texto o mencionarlo nosotros mismos. ¿okay? Eh, incluso no sé si han visto la expresión haciendo eh, comillas con los dos dedos, con los dedos. Eh, cuando uno habla acerca de algo que no dijo uno, sino que lo dijo otra persona, ¿sí? Entonces, cuando uno dice, cito, eh, uno está, va a comenzar a decir algo que no dijo uno, sino que lo dijo otra persona. That you didn't say, but it said it another person. Entonces, cuando eso lo vamos a colocar en texto, eso es muy importante, ¿ok? Y se utilizan las quotations. Quotation. Aren't they called quotation marks? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, quotation marks. Great. So they're called quotation marks. Oh, wait. This capital U. Uh -huh. Quotation in capital A. What's wrong with me? Okay. So, oh, no. Well, we have the quotation marks y se utilizan para hacer estos ejemplos, ¿ok? okay. Por ejemplo. Bueno, pero ya vamos, ya vamos a ir hacia allá. Uh -huh. Quotation marks. Let's continue. Ok. When do we use coma? ¿Cuándo usamos la coma? Esto es... Ah, súper básico. Esto es súper, 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 súper básico. Todos aquí seguramente lo sabemos. So, what do we do? I mean, when do we use comma? Bueno, cuando tenemos una lista de opciones, right? When we're doing a list, when we have a list of things. Por ejemplo, si a mí me preguntan, bueno, ¿qué cosas tienes en tu escritorio en este momento? Well, I have a computer, I have a keyboard, I have a mouse, I have a glass of water, and I have a little notebook and a pencil. Okay, that's me, David. All right? Entonces, como yo lo fuera diciendo, estaría haciendo una lista. So, I have... A laptop, a keyboard, for some reason, uh, a mouse, a glass of water, and a notebook, and a pencil. Okay, so as you can see, I'm separating each element with a comma. Estoy separando cada elemento con una coma. ¿Ok? Esa es básicamente la función de la coma dentro de una lista. Separar cada elemento. Dentro de una misma idea. I have a laptop, a keyboard, a mouse, a glass of water, a notebook, a pencil. Si le quitamos la coma... Primero que al leerlo sería muy difícil. 
I have a laptop, a keyboard, a mouse, a glass of water, a notebook, a pen, blah, blah, blah. no, just no. And, uh, también se perdería, por ejemplo, a keyboard, a mouse. Poder, se podría tornar a confusión cuando estaríamos hablando de un mismo elemento. So, what's like the, the big idea of the thing? Poner los elementos en su lugar, right? So, in this case, um, Esteban, please, do you have a microphone? Yes, you had it. You have a microphone. You answered with your microphone in the morning. So, can you please read this, Esteban? Esteban. Okay, maybe give, give him, yes. he may not have the internet. Another one? Yes, Try like somewhere. Leticia or... Okay, let's try Leticia. Can you please read this little list? Thank you. I have a laptop, a keyboard, a mouse, a glass of water, a notebook, a pencil. Very good, but no, let the, the, the other one, the one below. I bought tomatoes, onions, flour, and some cheese for today's dinner. Flour. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So you can see, you read it, lo leíste, e hiciste pequeñas pausas. Esas pequeñas pausas uh, son a propósito de la coma. Very good. Let's continue. Hmm. The next... Sorry. No, that's fine. I'm trying to do the chat in YouTube. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Good morning, YouTube. Hello, YouTube world. We're YouTubers now. Oh, oh and hello. is here, yay. Hello, okay. Yilamar. Hope you're doing great. Okay. Okay, um, okay guys. When, cuando más utilizamos coma, cuando hacemos una explicación, ¿sí? Esto se le llama inciso, ¿ok? En español se le llama inciso. I'm not very sure how you call them in English, inciso. But you know, it's like, it's like parenthesis, this middle idea that it's presented in the midst of another idea. You know? Yep. They yeah. explained it well. I don't think there, there may be a word, but it's technical. Okay. Well, you in Spanish, word. this word, este caso, se llama inciso. Okay? So, como así, como que inciso, que es eso, David, explícate, auxilio. Okay, ya les explico. So, for example, let's read this. Um, Luisana, please. Can you read this? On June 4th, located in Venezuela, is the highest waterfall in the world. Okay, can you see? So you added information to this. Agregaron información a esto para explicar que acerca de las Angel Falls, okay? Angel Falls, located in Venezuela, is the highest waterfall in the world. Ok, so we talked about, sino, ¿qué es lo particular de los incisos? Que si tú los incisos los eliminas, la oración sigue teniendo sentido. Angel Falls is the highest waterfall in the world. You see? Ellas siguen teniendo sentido. Pero el inciso añade información extra. ¿De qué forma podemos hacer incisos? Lo podemos hacer con distintos signos de puntuación. Por ejemplo, el más conocido para hacer incisos es el paréntesis, ¿ok? Pero no solo se hacen incisos con el paréntesis. Angel Falls, located in Venezuela, is the highest waterfall in the world. No solo se hacen con paréntesis, también se hacen con comas, 
All right. En este caso, por ejemplo, uh, vamos a hacer un, un ejemplo. David, who is uh, five years old, uh -huh. plays Nintendo. Okay. David, who is five years old, plays Nintendo. So you see, I'm using coma and coma to add this information. Este es el inciso, okay? To add the information. Pero si elimino esta información, sigue teniendo sentido la frase. David plays Nintendo, okay? That's basically the point. Any questions? Okay. If we don't have any question, Indeed, I also uh, added some information in the in the chat. So let's continue. When do we use coma? When we're using some conjunction. For example, I always eat my breakfast, but today I didn't have time. What is a conjunction, guys? Que es una conjunction? Bueno, muy sencillo. Una conjunction es la unión entre dos ideas. ¿Ok? La unión entre dos ideas en una misma oración. All right. Y hablamos de que es en una misma oración porque no la separa ningún punto, sino que el punto está al final. All right. So, in this case, if there are two different ideas... pero no están separadas por un punto, entonces están siendo separadas en este caso por una coma. ¿Ok? Porque el punto final está aquí. So, ¿por qué son dos ideas? Today I didn't have time. Eso es una idea. Hoy no tuve tiempo. Today I didn't have time. Y I always eat my breakfast. Siempre. Como mi desayuno. Okay, this is all right there. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so I always eat my breakfast. But, coma, but, además tenemos que utilizar alguna palabra que sirva para conjunctions. Okay. <laughs> but, today I didn't have time. Okay. Ready for the next? Yes. Okay. When do we use the period or full stop? Now, we're not talking anymore about coma, but we're going to talk about period or full stop, okay? ¿Cuándo utilizamos el punto? Ahora, un dato interesante, an interesting fact. En español saben que nosotros tenemos punto y aparte, punto y seguido, Punto y final, right? So we use punto y aparte para separar uh, ideas dentro de un mismo párrafo. Punto y seguido para continuar con el próximo párrafo. Y punto y final para ya terminar el texto. Punto y final es el último, all right? But in English, it doesn't happen that way. En inglés oh. no ocurre así. <laughs> en inglés solamente we only have period or full stop. Okay, that's it. And no more complications, just that. So that's great. That's an interesting fact. So when do we use it? We use it to separate sentences, okay? Uh, hello, Ildamar. Hope you're doing great. Uh, okay. Ready Leticia. for the next one? No, Leticia, oh. can you please read this? Ah. Okay. Thank you. I love to read novels. They are very interesting. Very good. So as you can see, you separated. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Leticia. As we can see, you separated uh, two ideas, two sentences with a period. 
or a full stop. So I love to read novels. That's one idea. And we, that's one. And then we have the other idea. They are very interesting. It's the second idea, okay? And they are fully separated with the period. This is important, guys. Uh, periods are very useful, okay? To, to make, to give sense. Eso es muy importante a la hora de darle sentido a una oración, all right? Eh, y a un párrafo. Let's continue. Okay, when do we use question marks? We use question mark to indicate the end of a direct question. Did you do your homework in the Google Classroom? Oh, these are question marks. We're not talking about uh, periods anymore, okay? Now we're talking about question marks. Bueno, hablando acerca de question marks, that's very interesting because it doesn't happen as in Spanish that we have an opening question mark and a closing question mark, okay? This is only Spanish, the opening question mark. So never, please, never in your life use an opening question mark in English, okay? Okay. For example, you don't do this. Never, All right? Now, what kind of, uh, for example, did you do your homework in the Google Classroom? This is a question. And how do I know it is a question? Bueno, in English, Lo sabemos, no solamente lo podemos saber por dos cosas. Por el orden del verbo auxiliar en relación con el sujeto. Did you. Como el verbo auxiliar está de primero, esto nos indica que es una pregunta. Did you do your homework? Ok. Pero además lo concluimos con una question mark. Ok. Pero además... Tendríamos en este caso este ejemplo. What kind of things do you like to do? What kind of things do you like to write about? All right. So as you can see, these two are questions. One with an auxiliary verb and the other one without an auxiliary verb uh, in the beginning. But both ending with the question mark. Ambas terminando con las question marks. Okay. Si vamos, por ejemplo, oh. sorry. Si vamos, por ejemplo, uh, en, en español, por ejemplo, podemos separar como uh, podemos separar preguntas de esta forma. Uh, podemos separar preguntas de esta manera. Uh, ¿Qué hiciste? Mm -hmm. Por qué? But in English, it would be something like, "What did you do? Why?" Okay. So you see, you never use, you don't use coma in here. You don't use uh, a period. We don't use it, right? Because this already has period in it. Okay, esto ya tiene un period en sí mismo. Okay, so just to clarify the, the case. Okay, let's continue. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, when do we use now exclamation mark? Okay, this is very simple. So I'm going to let you answer this. Guys, when do we use uh, exclamation mark? Cuando lo utilizamos? When? When you're excited. <laughs> yes, basically, basically when we're excited, when there's an emotion going on in the in the sentence we are saying, right? Whether if it's good or or, or bad, but mostly yeah. tends to be good. And uh, for example, when do we use the exclamation mark? Uh, a ver, Ildemar, do you have your microphone ready? When we are emotionate. Yes. Yeah. 
And Diego is in YouTube! Exclamation mark! Yay! Yay. Diego <laughs> is in YouTube! Hello, Diego. I'm excited. I'm happy. I have a motion. <laughs> yes. Nice to have you with us. Let's Diego. move a little faster past the ones we know so we can get into the hard thing, okay? Which oh, is okay. The um, comma splice, because we're at we have maybe 20 minutes left, so... Um... Right. Well, we already explained what semicolon is, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about colon. We talked about semicolon. Yeah, and colon is just to, to begin marks. a list. Mm -hmm. This is just to begin a list or an explanation, following an explanation, okay? And hyphen, when do we use the hyphen? Well, basically, we use the, the hyphen to join we use the hyphen to join words together, right? Right. So, and we already talked about question marks. This is to quote, the, the quotation, sorry, the quotation marks. This is just to quote, para citar, okay? Para mencionar algo que dijo alguien. So we're, I think we're done with this. Let's go to the next slide and talk about comma splices. That's okay. That's an interesting part of the lesson. So, comma splice. What is a comma splice? Chicos, aprendanse esto, anoten esto. Comma splice. Okay. So, a comma splice is the incorrect use of a comma to join two independent clauses or ideas. Let's think of clauses as ideas. Okay. Pero ideas muy, 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 muy distintas, muy diferentes, que deberían estar separadas por un punto, pero que las separamos con coma, ¿ok? Es un caso bastante tricky. This is kind of tricky. But let's see what is it about. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I read a book three weeks ago, it was very interesting. So, you see, cuando yo doy mi opinión acerca de mi idea anterior, debería estar separada por un punto. Okay, because there are two ideas. Estoy dando la idea de lo que hice y estoy dando... No, that's fine. Estoy dando la idea de lo que hice y estoy dando mi opinión acerca de la idea de lo que hice. Okay? So these are two different. I read a book, read. Lo pronuncio así, read, porque está en pasado, okay? I read a book three weeks ago. It was very interesting, okay? Here should be a period, right? So let's continue. Change the coma and use a period. ¿Cómo arreglamos el comma splice? How do we fix a comma splice? Well, by doing this. <laughs> Basically, we just add the little period dot, okay? And that's it. Or you have another way you can do it. Oh, right. So you can use a proper conjunction. And we use, esta es la forma más común de unir dos ideas dentro de una misma oración, okay? I read a book three weeks ago and it was very interesting. So you see, and es la forma de hacer conjunciones, conjunctions, más eh, versátil, digamos. Es la más útil, ¿ok? Y la más común entre nosotros. Solemos utilizarla más, ¿all right? Okay. So, Whoop, oh, here's another one. Oh, also because. Mm -hmm. So, I had no internet yesterday. Let's, let's think of it. If we take away because and we just put the period, that would make full sense. I had no internet yesterday. It was a rainy day, okay? It, it, it makes sense, but we can also use a conjunction 
of causality, right? So because mm -hmm. the cause, I had no internet because it was a rainy day. Nice. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, now you guys have to fix the comma splice. Right. How would you fix these comma splice? What would you do? Please use your microphones or uh, put it in the chat. Or you could write on the, you could annotate and write on With the, the annotation tool. Mm -hmm. But there's obviously a mistake here, right? Yes. So we have a comma splice here. So where is it and how do we fix it? Comma you splice. Can use a period. You can use a conjunction. That's about it, huh? <laughs> there are many options, period. in fact. There's, are there more options? Uh, uh, like she always give, she always gives, she always gives uh, good ah. answers. Somebody is writing on the board. So what do you all think? She always gives good answers in the class. She is a good student. The comma is, is wrong. Yeah. So you, you can put you a should. period. What do you need to do with the, um, oops, I hate when that happens. What do you need to do with the, um, the, the word she? Chicos, ¿qué colocamos, qué colocamos aquí? ¿Qué colocamos acá? Thank you, Luisana. Capital. Good job. Okay. ¿Qué colocamos okay. aquí? Okay, a period. That's fine. But right. what else? What else could what we kind of conjunction? We yeah, what conjunction can we put in there? What about a conjunction? Okay. What about a conjunction, guys? Do you think but works there? Do you think because works there? Veamos si but funciona. She always gives good answers in the class, but she is a good student. Hmm. I think it doesn't make any sense. No, that one doesn't work. What about <laughs> and? Okay. She always gives good answers in the class. And she is a good student. Uh, might work a little. Yeah. She always gives good answers in the class. And she is a good student. Oh, Leticia is telling us to use because. Because, so yeah. She always gives good answers in the class because she's a good student. Very That's good. Yeah. That's great. Great. Let's see what the next example is because we have we we need to get through this so we can play Kahoot. Okay. Let's get rid of the. Sorry, I'm taking control. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I need to clear. All the drawings. Okay, my friend is taller than me, comma. He always wins when we play basket. So now the question is, guys, how do you want to change this mistake? I want how do we some fix participation. This? So yes, this is a comma splice, definitely. How do we fix it? With a period or with a conjunction? Good. Which one of them? with a period or with a conjunction. If we use a period, my friend is taller than me. He always wins. Wins. When he plays basket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, with a with a, with a period might work. Can, can we, we place Okay. No, that is not. That is not good. No S on plays. Um, there you just put that period. Right and when we play. Here yeah, right. we should. Uh, we don't that. Here. Perfect. Good job. Okay. okay what Very good. Okay. can we use, you guys? 
Do you want to and? But because yet. The capital is fine, but if we are using a, a period, okay? But what if we're not using the period? What conjunction could we use? ¿Qué conjunción podríamos utilizar si no utilizamos el punto? Para corregir el comma splice. Si queremos corregir el comma splice. What do we use? Well, let's see, mm -hmm. for example, um, mm, because my friend is taller than me because he always wins when he, we play basket. Uh, um, that could sound better if we could say he always wins me. He always wins me when we play basket because he is taller than me. Right, but in this case, it, it sounds weird, right? Yeah. Sounds odd. Okay, so what what other conjunction could we use? And or but? And. My friend is taller than me, but he always wins when we play basket. Hmm. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Could happen the same way because. What about and? My friend is taller than me, and he and always he wins when we play basket. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, I believe it's and. So now it's time to play a game to see if we understand comma splices. Um, I need to get out of this because it keeps, I'm having technical difficulties when I technical do issues. Zoom and PowerPoint at the same time. So I'm going to try to remove it. Okay, good. Okay. And I'm going to share the Kahoot. Um, so we're going to play Kahoot. And... Hopefully you guys understand. If you don't understand, when we go through the Kahoot, we can help you figure out why these are comma splices. But you can see in this Kahoot, all you have to say is which sentence contains a comma splice or which sentence does not. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the game and get some of you playing. It's 10 minutes, we get some good practice going. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. But no music. I hate it when there's no music. Come on, music. There we go. Oh, there you go. One, three, six. Okay, there we go. If you're in YouTube, you can certainly come in. Okay, and I'm going to put it in YouTube. Nine, three, six. Five one seven one. We got five people watching on YouTube. You guys can certainly try to us. This is the best part of the class. Oh, we've got Luisana, we got Yildamar, we have Leticia, Yildamar, and Dabi. Anybody else coming in? Who else is in the room? Um, Esteban should be. Esteban, where are you? He'd be the last one. And then we have Diego and Danielle in YouTube if you want to join us. See if you can get your phones or your computers to work. I like the music. It's like elevator music. David, is that you, David, or is that the David? It's me. Okay. Because he says in his thing, it says Curl David. So I think it's his, he also has David as his name. Okay. Well, should we start or should we wait a few more minutes? Let's wait uh, a few seconds. I don't know. Let's see. Esteban says that he the, the platform doesn't allow him to, to join. Okay. 
So Esteban, just put your answers in the chat, okay? And we'll try to up oh, Diego's in! Oh my oh, yeah. god, we got YouTube! Woo, woo, woo. Okay, Esteban's in the chat. We got Diego. I don't think Danielle's gonna come in, so I think we'll go ahead and start so that we start and begin oh. on time. Okay, ready? You guys, let's go! Comma splice practice. One, two, three, go. Which sentence contains a comma splice? If you want pizza, just order it. Where there is pizza, there is happiness. I love pizza and I could eat it every day. I love pizza. It's the best. Hmm. I think there's two. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, there's only one. You're right. There's only one. Which which one is it, guys? But I'm scared. So, yeah, that's it. Wow. Very good. I was yeah, I love pizza. It's the best. You have to say I love I pizza. I love pizza. And it's the best. Or I love I pizza, love period. It's the best. So that's the exclamation mark. Yes. Esteban, you can put the color the color because it's take a long time to write the whole sentence. So if you want to yes. put the color for your answer, so it's like green, yellow, blue, red, okay. whatever. Okay, next question. Oh, good job, y'all. Most people got it. That's good. Okay. Which sentence? sentence. Uh, go ahead, David. Go ahead. Uh, clowns are very scary, and I hate them. Clowns are scary, <laughs> ugly, and weird. If you see a clown, I will cry. Cl clowns are harmless. You don't need to be afraid of them. Mm. Wow. Which color is the comma splice? Very good. Oh. Okay, so look at the red one. It has the it has the conjunction and in it, right? So that can't right. be correct. The and makes it not a comma splice. Yes. Um, if I see splice. a clown, I will cr cry. We didn't talk about this, but this is when you have a um, what they call a subordinate clause, a clause that gives some extra information that can't stand on its own. So yep. you can't say if I see a clown. That just doesn't work. But you can say if I see a clown, comma, I, I will cry. cry. Right. And then yes, the correct one is clowns are harmless. Period. You, you don't, don't need to be afraid. afraid. Of them. Need to be afraid of them. All right, Yolanda's back in the room. Yes, yes. I don't know what happened. I I hope we don't have problems with YouTube. Well, we'll just have to see. I see them all out there, so which sentence here does not contain? So this does is not. not. This is the one that does not. So there are many comma splices here. I love unicorns, comma. They are magical. I wish I were still a kid, comma, so I could believe in unicorns. Unicorns are not real. Believing in them is stupid. Unicorns are real, comma. I will never stop believing. Red, yellow, blue, or green? Hmm. Which one does not have some sort of connecting word? Those are the comma splices. If it has a connecting word, it is correctly written. Good job. So yeah it's so the word so connects the two so that one's the correct one okay you could use other things there you could say and or um yet okay let's see what are we doing on our scoreboard Ooh, leticia's coming up yes okay this is also which sentence does not Contain. Does not contain. Yeah. 
see if you can figure it out. That cheeseburger is too greasy, comma, I'm not eating it. If you don't want that cheeseburger, comma, I'll eat it. I love greasy cheeseburgers. Give it to me. Cheeseburgers are magic, comma. It should be a crime to waste them. Three of those are comma splices. One is not. Choose the one that is correct. Let's see. Oh dear, students, students. Okay, so because this has the word if, if you don't want that cheeseburger, I'll eat it, that makes it a correct sentence. The rest of them are sentences that can stand alone but with commas. So that cheeseburger is too greasy, period. I'm not eating it. I love greasy cheeseburgers, period. Give it to me, exclamation mark. Cheeseburgers are magic, exclamation mark. It should be a crime to waste them, exclamation mark. Let's go to the next question. And we see that Yildamar has exceeded everybody to the top. Interesting. Good job, Yildamar. Okay, again, which one does not contain a comma splice? Another one. Let's have nachos for dinner, comma. They're the best, period. Where are my nachos, comma? I ordered them an hour ago, period. You hate nachos, comma. You must be a robot, period. If you don't like nachos, comma, we can't be friends. Now remember, look for those connecting words. That went fast. The connecting word is if, so that's the correct sentence. If you look at these other sentences, there's no connecting words. They're just sentences that you can make on your own by yourself. Okay, sorry, David. Do you want to do the next one? Did we lose David? We did. We I lost am here. Him. We lost him. Okay, let's have Yolanda do the next one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dropping out. Which sentence does not contain a comma splice? Puppies are the best. Comma. Everyone should have one. Puppies are great. Comma. They are so soft and cutely. The next, when I grow up, comma, I'm going to have a house full of puppies. The last one, puppies are the worst, comma, they chew on everything. <laughs> Just one is the correct. Pay attention. So oh, the, the correct one is the blue one. So the first one, puppies are the best, comma, everything. Everyone should have one is not correct. And puppies are great. They are so soft and quickly. Goodly is not a correct. Oh, Luisana is at the first place. And we definitely lost you, uh, David, because he's not even in the Kahoot anymore. Okay. okay. Oh, questions. Which sentence contains a comma splice? This one is contained. So which one is wrong? All the rest are right. Kittens yes. are safe, comma, but I don't like adult cats. Kittens are soft cuddly and adorable period if i weren't allergic to cats comma i'd adopt these kittens how can you not love these kittens comma they're so sweet 
which one is a comma splice? Two sentences that can stand alone. Let's see. Pay attention. Oh, good job, class. That's correct. How can you not yes. use kittens, period? They're so sweet. And if you see the other ones, like you have but, that's a, that's a connecting word. Here yes. you have one sentence. The commas is a list of um, adjectives. And here you have if. Nice work, everyone. Let's go to the next one. Oh, Louisiana. Louisiana is on fire. Yes, she uh, is. Which sentence contains a comma splice? Yes, we can use. Uh -huh. I want a petty jama, but my mom won't allow it. If could have one wish, I would ask for a jama. Jamas are so cute, and I wish could hug one. <laughs> Jamas are gross. They spied all the time. Let's see which one contains a comma splice. So it's the green one because yes. no connecting word. You see in the red one you have but. In the yellow one, you have if. In the blue one, you have and. But in the green one, you just have a comma, and that's not correct. Mm -hmm. We're Let's almost see the next. done. Two more. Mm -hmm. I am going. Which sentence contains a comma splice? Again, because has because he's so positive. Hegate makes and me smile. People are upset with Kugle, and I don't get it. Kugle is sell out. He does commercials for YouTubers. Tax. <laughs> I have never even heard of Hegate. So I am confused. Me too. I'm confused. Which one? Good. It is number four. So the not, other ones, I mean, not number four. There are four people yes. who got it correct. Yes. Only the yellow one is not good because you have you with. Mm -hmm. So it's not correct. So you have because in the green one, in the yellow one you have and, and in the green one you have so. Those are connecting words. They can help you fix a comma. Yes, that is. That okay, is why. This is the last one. Ready, go. Let's see. Which sentence does not contain a comma splice? Betty White is amazing. You just have to love her. I don't know who Betty White is. Is she famous? At the end of 2016, I was wondering about Betty White. Betty White is awesome. I want to be here when I grow up. Let's see which one not contain a comma splice. Good job, class. I kind of gave you some clues. Here you have a time expression at the end of 2016, and at the end of a time expression, you always put a comma. So let's see who won this game so we can go on with our days. We're over just a little bit. Ildemar is number three. Ildemar, greeting. Ildemar is number Ildemar. two. Oh, very and good. Top is Luisana. Very good. Okay, I'm going to hurry us out of here, guys, because we are over time.
So do not forget, do not forget to go to the Google Classroom. Oops. Don't forget to do your attendance. Don't forget to sign up for Zoom. And if you didn't watch today in class, if you weren't here, here you have the attendance. Here you have the attendance and at the, the chat. It's coming in the chat and we'll put it in the YouTube chat as well. Yes, you have the attendance here. Good job, at everybody. Good job. We'll see you on Monday. I mean, on Friday. See you on Friday. Goodbye. Remember, Friday for second year, Monday for first year. See you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ildamar, Gildamar. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Luisana, Diego, Esteban. Thank you.